Well, hello everyone, it's Julian from Beauty Cosmos, and we're back. We're going to do another top 10 books to subscribe to, and this time it is for June 2022. And these are books that are supposedly coming out in August of 2022. So, uh, really small change up for this month. Uh, I do have a working camera, and we usually use the working camera for uh, uh, the top 10 books to subscribe to. But my dad decided that my audio was not on par so he got me a much better uh, recording camera a uh, recording um, mic but now i don't have sufficient uh, thunderbolt parts on my laptop uh, and uh, i just learned that my left my right side of the thunderbolt port does not work so and uh, since i need an external monitor to be able to use uh, obs um I, I have that one. I've got one port on, and then the other port is for this mic. Uh, it's actually on a um, on a small dock I bought, the kickstarted maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, and then the uh, the USB port on it is uh, not Thunderbolt enabled. It, it seems to be only power delivery. Uh, so I have no way of hooking up the camera this time. So. Uh, I already have a solution. I, I clearly need a Thunderbolt dock, and I did back this one. This one was pretty cool, uh, uh, new branded. I, I specifically bought, uh, well, backed this dock because it has an NDME uh, slot on the top of the board, uh, right here on top. Um, do do do. It says uh, some NVMe uh, SSD Gen three by four port right on top here. So uh, and then it does have. Uh, multiple USB-C ports, uh, two Thunderbolt 4, I believe. No, it says Thunderbolt 3. So one's power delivery and the other one's the daisy chain. And so at least I'll be able to daisy chain um, this um, um, the camera. Uh, and then uh, she'll be able to just hook up the, uh, um, the mic uh, over on one of the USB-A ports. So, uh, but the thing is, there is still in validation process, and they say this is coming on September. So uh, I may have a look at a better solution between now and then. I don't really want to spend like three, four hundred dollars on a on a real Thunderbolt port, uh, Thunderbolt dock. Uh, especially the reason why I backed this one was like the price was really good for what it did, uh, and I was going to plan to use this. Uh, I uh, on uh, hopefully at one point in the future a Steam Deck that I really really want for myself. So uh, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, for the time being, how is the mic doing? It's a, it's a Logitech Blue Yeti. Um, and then I was telling my dad, this is what you get. And then, but don't get it to me. And he got it anyways. So I hope I hope he's happy. I know he's going to be watching this video. He watches all our videos. He uh, likes and shares and subscribes like a good YouTuber. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to use the mic. And hopefully the sound... sound did a couple of sound checks, did good. So anyways, back to comic books. Uh, we are using Managed Comics 2.0 over at bdcosmos.com. Uh, we're looking to redesign the, the website. I know we've been saying it since like last year. Um, it's always uh, circumstances that have prevented us to invest into it. Um, but it is part of our plans to do so. Uh, I'm, I'm working with Managed Comics uh, to for a redesign. Um we're looking to get getting out of Binder Pause, Binder POS. Um, they they've been a great partner when when we were doing Magic Singles, and now that we're not, it's just we're just giving them commissions on everything else, so it's not super useful. Uh, but their point of sale is is above top tier. It, it so it's it's really hard. Like I cannot find a replacement point of sale. Uh, so Binder Pause still wins, but it's just it's really expensive giving them commissions plus a monthly fee. Uh, so yeah. We'll, we'll look at the redesign and see what we can do. In any event, as usual, we're going to look at five books that are on the independent side this month and on this first video. And in the second video, we'll look at five superhero-type comic books. Um, this month, uh, because of all the paper delays uh, and the comic book shortages, um, a lot of the superhero, the DC and Marvel stuff is really hard because most of it is super delayed. Uh, we've got some issue ones that we talked about four months ago or now pushed all the way to August. Uh, I'm looking at you, Thunderbolts. Um, even uh, stuff like uh, Daredevil has been put, canceled and resolicited twice now and still pushed back an extra month. So, uh, and, and then um, Flashpoint Beyond moved from a twice monthly to a monthly book. 
that was mostly to help us uh, to get the orders in properly because they rushed they, they rushed all six solicitations be, before even the first zero issue came out. So it was they were not getting the numbers they wanted. So Marvel DC books uh, are much harder, but the independent books, even though um, the, they may also get delayed, there were a lot of good choices this month. Uh, so uh, I had to cut it down, and then I think I took the five best, but the, the last two that I had to cut, I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, the number one pick, obviously, is the obvious pick. Uh, but let's look at them right now. So first up, uh, we've got Sacrament. So I really like the concept of Sacrament. Where in, again, we're going to talk about science fiction. We're in the year 3000. We're up in space, and uh, we've abandoned Earth. Uh, but we haven't abandoned the faith. Uh, anyways, the Catholic faith, if we want to be honest about this. Uh, it's... Uh, Wonderful writer Peter Milligan. We have read so much from him. Wonderful, fantastic writer. A, a lot of his series, and pen series. Obviously, he's really well known in Marvel. Um, but uh, this is is I. It could be his first EWA book. I'm not 100 percent certain, but I believe it is. So year 3000, uh, and then a priest is doing an exorcism uh, on a human. Uh, but we're in space doing it, so clearly it's the idea of having uh, the devil still being a part of our culture, our 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 beings, if we want to say. Uh, but just up in space, so I, I think it's a, a cool spin on uh, uh, the science fiction spinoff. Uh, we've certainly seen some horror, deep horror science fiction stuff in the nineties, early two thousands. Um, so it, it says here, exorcism meets alien sci-fi horror. And like that, sure. Um, uh, I, I can definitely think that this is easily can be, uh, translate into a movie. Um, yeah, uh, it seems great uh, here. So uh, if you're like me and you, you, you want to just give it a shot, you can just pre-order a specific cover. And so I, I just pre-ordered cover A. I could have pre-ordered cover B here. I actually don't want to pre-order cover. I want to subscribe to the series, and it'll give me the choice of which book, which cover I want to subscribe to. So if I want the cover B, uh, always, 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 always click on fulfill with main cover if not a cover not available. And that is because um, if there is no B cover or no C cover in the title, you will just get your book skipped. So uh, always click on fulfill with main cover. The point of having it there is for, oh, if there are a shortage, like I'll take a main cover if not, but really it's to protect you. Like the system will, will not uh, send you to a, a cover if there is literally no B cover available. So yeah, go ahead and then so subscribe and I'm subscribe to the main cover here and it's added to my account. And then your order deal has been changed. Please click here for really the information. So now I am subscribed to Sacrament number one uh, from AWA. Looks great. Next up, we've got, uh, they're calling it the Massive Verse. Uh, we've colloquially been calling it as the Radiant Verse. It is the next book in the Radiant Red, Radiant Yellow, Radiant Red series. It's Dead Lucky. Uh, this uh, ex soldier with P fighting PTSD has now some kind of electrical powers. And they're in San Francisco, I believe. Yeah, ex peacekeeper, Salvation Gang. Bibiana Lopez Yang is a changing to. She came back from Afghanistan, so yeah, she's definitely a American soldier, and uh, and she's fighting uh, bad guys. And can she keep her PTSD in check to be able to uh, fight off the bad guys? So yeah, uh, for your rogue son, radiant red, radiant black, uh, uh, and then. Um, the other one oh we had super massive for you massive fans this is your next series you need to be subscribing it to right now uh, okay uh, forever forward from scout comics um, the reason i want to talk about this is that i really like the writer zach kaplan um, i've enjoyed two of his science fiction series by far uh, the first one was um, welcome to tomorrow and uh, the other one is uh, ongoing now at image it's a metal society um, both like really weird takes on futuristic, um, well, science fiction, possible takes on what's going to happen in the future. Um, in the middle society, it's about um, uh, humans going extinct and robots bringing them back because of they could. And then uh, Welcome to the Future was a uh, future where uh, the last humans on Earth, on well, 
who were living on the earth ground were basically farmers and it was very western style and uh, but everyone else was uh, living on these giant uh, moving condominiums that were through in, 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 uh, uh, and they were terra building the uh, terraforming sorry uh, the rest of earth because we had destroyed it and uh, they were like trying to get rid of the last of the people on uh, the ground uh, so welcome to the future um, and then in this one forward forward uh, forever forward sorry um, it feels like a um, uh, uh, time traveling um, uh, the uh, what's it called um, the time machine type uh, story where uh, dude Dr. Lewis Moody uh, he and his friends like launches himself in in a uncertainly with his own time machine uh, with his quantum time machine sure and then uh they're now but they have no way of going back and they've got this note that says the only way back is forward so they keep jumping themselves into the future hopefully trying to be able to find a way to get back to where they were so yeah again it's it's not a um it's not a another kind of science fiction like I mentioned with Middle Society or like a, a futuristic type. It is just like a time machine type story. And I I, I, I am a, um, uh, a Jules Verne fan, so the time machine it, it does speak to me. Um, if again, if that's what I'm, I would take off of it. If you are a uh, Jules Verne fan, go for it. Uh, I have already subscribed to this series. Uh, next up, we've got from world famous terry moore his next series parker girls uh, and so um terry moore is well known for uh, strangers in paradise and uh, he had a 10-part miniseries uh last year i forget the name of this series uh but uh the number one issue um it was under ordered and went to second print pretty much immediately i think the first print was uh, number one we ended up selling the last copies like twenty dollars a pop, and so uh, this time uh, I'm not taking any chances because a lot of people had asked us after the facts like, "Oh yeah, I'm a huge fan of Terry Moore," and so Parker Girls, uh, we're, we're ordering a bunch of them just to be on the safe side. People are picking them up, and uh, our regular Terry Moore fans we had in their account. So again, if you enjoy that kind of, it's always uh, Terry Moore stuff is in black and white. I have to mention it. Uh, so if you're a fan of Stranger in Paradise, Parker Girls is the next series. It's part of his universe, uh, Bambi Baker. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would definitely pick up uh, Parker Girls if you are enjoy that genre. And next up, we couldn't miss this. It's Gun Honey. Gun Honey is blood for blood and back for blood. So Gun Honey was the most adult comic book I've read in a very long time. Um, it was a... People will liken it to uh, James Bond, but it's really not, and it's not like a uh, a villain book. But it was definitely a um, um, detective type story, uh, true crime, um, and uh, uh, the the character the the the, the gun honey herself. Uh, I forget her name. Uh, no, it's Joanna, right? Yeah, Joanna Tan, um, who is her specialty is to place guns into. Un places that sh they should not be so they'll smuggle guns for uh, prisoners or into very secure areas uh, and so uh, and then in the first series um, the, the whole point is that people uh, the uh, part of the CIA uh, had tr tracked her down and going to use her uh, to set up a plot and so in the end uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to spoil you the whole entire story, uh, but Guns uh, Honey Series 1 was fantastic. Uh, it sold really well. Um, it During FOC, no, before FOC of the first issue, they are already optioned for TV. Uh, so Gun Honey Blood for Blood is the second series. It is the follow-up. Um, I'm. It doesn't show you the main cover from Adam Hughes, uh, but I will show it to you right now. Uh, this is the main cover for Adam Hughes. Uh, the Adam Hughes cover was the big hit uh, for number one, it went to th three printings. Uh, yeah, it went to three printings. Um, but then it was the FOC variant cover for first printing, and then it was the third printing cover. For the second printing, they used the uh, the B cover and limited to 2,000 copies, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, Blood for Blood. Uh, 
Then the art drum cover is also fantastic. They've used this. Oh yeah, Pulp Noir, absolutely. Um, they've used the cover for the ordering book, the uh, previous ordering book this month. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be ordering uh, for the store itself uh, the Art Germ, the Adam Hughes. There's a bunch of other covers as well. Um, the McGinnis cover was, uh, which was um, the um, uh, he did a cover for every issue uh, as well. As, I believe the second issue. No, he did. Uh, so. His C cover was also the main cover for the second printing that was limited to 2000. Uh, so that's really good. And then he's back again. And he's a famous cover artist for uh, posters, uh, uh, um, movie posters. There you go. Um, this cosplay cover, I forget the name of uh, the cosplayer herself. Uh, Dynamite uses her often. Uh, she's a I mean, uh, you, you should see her in um, in both Vampirella and uh, Red Sonja gear. Uh, yes, she's ha almost naked because that is the point of... I mean, Gun Honey will... It's, like I said, it's really, really adult. And so there's a lot of... Uh, um, nudity in the, inside the book, and so they, they used that, that cosplayer to do the nude, nude scenes. Uh, but uh, I, I feel whenever she's done cosplay covers, uh, those have done well for the store, so she's clearly really, um, uh, I'm not gonna say famous, but uh, well liked. Uh, the uh, Linsner cover uh, is awesome as well. Um, I, I guess uh, Dynamite is like sharing them their artists. Or, or people they're working with, so Linsner is doing a fantastic cover. Um, I believe it's Frédéric Hugo who's doing this adult cover here. I mean, we could probably find that out fairly easily. 50 probably is the code. No, Linsner is this one. Let's find out. Romain Hugo. I'll cover F. Okay, so Romain Hugo is doing this, um, this mature cover, and then it, you'll notice that in the last code for it is a... Uh, not safe for word, new variant uh, cover in this one because it's poly bag it's more expensive i mean i don't know if it's twice the cost more expensive it's ten dollars at usd um to get a new variant uh, but you can definitely just order them here right here if that's what you're interested uh so yeah uh, if uh, and we have the gun hunt trade paperbacks in stock at the store uh feel free to uh uh, to check them out if you'd like. Um, it is honestly a great, 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 great series, and I, I, I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, I, and we, I, I don't know if we have every single issue as cover issues left. I certainly have uh, lots of the Adam Hughes covers for the uh, first and third printing of uh, number one, and they do fairly well. Uh, but yeah, if uh, you guys think there is a series here that we missed in the independent side of things please let me know down below in the comments and uh yeah uh, I'll, I'll probably agree with you that we just couldn't put it in but if there's a series you were more excited about than the ones i recommended feel free to let us know otherwise uh share this video with your friends if they're interested in looking up to see what the independent titles are coming out in the month of quote august uh, and then like this video if you be really so kind so that other people can join in on the fun and as the algorithm tries to push our videos to other comic book readers. Well, that's it for this now. Uh, we'll be back real soon for more comic book reviews about uh, the, the, the non-independent side of things. And uh, as always, we'll see each other real soon. Thanks, thanks for watching.